I wrote Molecular Genetics of Bacteria, uh, the fourth edition, uh, basically as sort of an opportunity that came up. I had been uh, approached by a different publisher for a competing textbook. Uh, when I was considering that, a colleague of mine had pointed out that uh, Larry and Wendy, the authors of the previous uh, three editions, were in emeritus status and there might be uh, an option there. Uh, so I talked to some of the people I knew at ASM Press and they put me in touch with Larry and uh, Wendy and, uh, and talking with them it seemed that we had the same vision, that we'd have a good working relationship for the book, which turned out to be the case and so then the rest is history. The target audience for this book, Molecular Genetics of Bacteria, really is first and foremost advanced, graduate stu uh, advanced undergrads and graduate students. Uh, one of the things uh, that are in there, there's uh, study questions, but we've also made, and this is something that I liked about the book all along, uh, a real push to have, where possible, the real experiments that were used to show the facts that we're presenting. So it's not just a list of facts, but sort of how we know these things and what, where the questions still could lie. So I think it is good for students, uh, but that being said, there's also a really nice option for people that don't work maybe in molecular genetics all the time or in the allied fields that I think really would benefit from this book too as a desk reference. So uh, molecular genetics of bacteria, the way it compares to others, I would describe it as the same reason that I liked it as a graduate student when I learned from it, when I used it as a TA, uh, and when I decided to use it as a, a textbook, uh, in that it really is written in a very clear and concise way. It's very plain language, and this is something that we really tried to keep in the book. Uh, we had a uh, procedure when we were uh, going through writing the book where we would edit each other's chapters and make sure we uh, came to that. Uh, and on the nature of being concise, we also try to have that any time we added something new that we also removed something that kept us honest and kept us making the hard decisions to make it something that was really the most concise uh, information that people needed to know. Uh, I hope that when people uh, use this textbook uh, that they really find the most uh, plainly written and clear understanding of the basic facts in molecular genetics, how genes are passed on, how evolution occurs in bacteria, and how these genes are expressed through a lot of different regulatory systems. Mm -hmm.